Hey guys, welcome back to the Handyman Vlog. If you don't know me, I'm Vinny the Handyman. Thanks everybody for tuning in on my last video, my first video. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback and support. Uh, thank you to the US Mint for all your support and uh, laughter on that one. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, today I got two things I gotta go do. I gotta install an access panel and then I'm gonna be re, um, I'm gonna be redoing a shower where we have some grout that got some mold on it and some silicone around the window seals. So I'll take you to both places. There's some renters that are gonna be moving into it next week, so we gotta have it um, ready to go. So again, this is all referral work that keeps coming in. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna head out, head to the van. Oh, I love, a ro I love Rocky, I'm a big Rocky fan. And since I'm gonna be doing a shower today, this house is owned by a bunch of sailors, so you can only imagine what's in the shower, right? So I figured today's an appropriate day for my Rambo socks. As a handyman, you never know what you're gonna deal with. You know, we're kind of like unsung heroes. We go in the, the trenches of construction work, stuff that nobody wants to do, and that's where we come in. So if you see a handyman out in town, you shake his hand, you say thank you. Thank you, handyman, for changing my life. Because of you, I can go golfing with my buddies. Because of you, the wife's not nagging me. Because of you, handyman, you get to deal with all the crazy mother-in-laws, and I get to play video games. So yeah, we go through a lot. All right, enough said, let's go. And then you're probably wondering about our my nice van. <laughs> get that on oh you did okay all right <laughs> maybe i'll cut that out okay uh you're probably wondering about this nice van that you saw in the first video um but you know what i don't spoil a surprise just yet i have a special tour uh that we'll do in another video and i think you'd be a little impressed with it sometimes you see candy in it and some other things but uh she's a good van she's a good work van so i'll give you guys a tour of this on another day and uh, show you how I purchased it, what I did to the inside, and yeah, if you're gonna do your handyman business, that's what you need. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you at the houses. Hi, I'll be installing this eight by eight inch access panel. The reason for this panel is that the uh, homeowner, he doesn't want his wife to know he has a secret Pokemon collection. I don't know, I don't get it. So he's got Pokemon figurines, Pokemon cards, whatever you call it, and so he wants to hide it from his wife because she wants to sell his collection. So we're putting this in, in the closet so that she can't find it. I'm just a handyman, I just do what I'm told. So, okay, so this comes with the little template on the back so you don't overcut your, your drywall hole. And to cut the drywall hole, you could use a drywall knife, okay? Or um, I use my osculating saw. I highly recommend this. This is in all my videos, um, in all two of my videos. Uh, but this thing saves me all the time, so I highly recommend this tool. It's so universal. Okay, so we're gonna cut out a template and we're gonna trace it around the, the, uh, the, the place where we're gonna cut the drywall out. And then, once you cut the drywall out and remove it, it's real simple. This uh, lip here, you j it just contracts when you put it inside the hole. Does that sound right? Okay. Yeah, so this contracts and it has like a little spring lever. So this is what applies pressure once it's in the hole. So we're just gonna put this right here, right at the four foot mark. That's kind of like where, they, where there's, uh, there's no studs there. So check to see if you have studs in the area. Um, get your stud finder. So if you want to be overly cautious, definitely get a stud finder. Not me, the stud finder. Um, even though I'm really good at it. Take your stud finder and you just want to make sure there's no stud in the way because then because then this won't go in and sit flush, okay? So for obvious reasons. All right, so just take your time with it. Uh, but then you're going to take your oscillate and salt, cut it out. You're all set. So uh, let me go get my stud finder. Okay. All right, now we got the uh, the stud placements are at, so now I'm gonna do my little template. And if you wanna do a good job, use a level. Okay, 
Okay, so now I have my template up there. And you always leave your trademark behind. Okay, these angles are gonna be kind of hard because it's a tight closet. Okay, so the hole's cut. Now all you do is put it in that hole and pull this in. That's it guys, that simple. Finally made it. Everything in my truck bounced everywhere. There's pros and cons to these vans. Everything bounces and drives you nuts. It's the loudest ride you'll ever have because of all your tools. Kind of drives you a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, it's cold, it's early. I'm still drinking my coffee and I don't feel like working. But uh, it's a day in the handyman's life. And I got an air alert going off on my traction control. Okay guys, welcome back. I am now in that bathroom remodel that I was talking about earlier this morning after I fell. Um, we're gonna be, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough with you to show you the, the work that needs to get done in the shower. So basically, I'm gonna scrape all this grout out in here. So you have some mold starting in the corners. So we're gonna um, scrape all that, grind some of it if I can. Just basically clean it up really nice. He got missing grout right here. Now this can cause a lot of water damage behind the tile. If you guys have this in your house, get it sealed quickly. And then also, up on this windowsill here, he's got some some mold kind of starting on the on this old silicone there. So we're gonna get that cleaned up as well, all up in here. It, this is common. This house is about four or five years old, I believe. You know, you're gonna get water build up and it just sits there, so. I mean, there's really nothing you could do about it, but just preventative maintenance. Uh, you got some cracks in here. You know, the walls shift on you and they move, or there's just not enough mortar that will sit on the backside. So we're just gonna clean that up for him. So it's just it's just maintenance. So if you guys can, do maintenance under showers, because wa once water gets in it, and behind, and then in the drywall, that's where you start getting your, your mold build up, and it just, it's just nothing but destruction. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I'm just gonna go over some basic tools that I'm gonna use for this project. Okay, you guys always hear me preaching about this oscillate saw. This has a really cool attachment. And this is for grinding out grout. And this just pops off. This was for doing drywall earlier. And then you put this on. And there you go. I call this tool Roxy. She's a real beaut. So when you're removing grout, there's a handful of tools that you can get at like uh, Home Depot. Uh, you have this one here. This is for cleaning out your joints. Get some grout out. Uh, this one as well. This has like a triangle to it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And that basically just scrapes in between the tile. So you'll see me use this. Um, I'll use this scraper tool to kind of help along as well. Um, and you know, you can deep remove the silicone off. So then you'll see me using these razor blades. Uh, I'll use this for the, for the window to kind of clean up the window a little bit. And that's pretty much it for this job. It's just really simple stuff. The last tool that you're going to need is this. We're good to go. So 
follow me. I'm gonna put my GoPro on so you might see some different angles. And this job shouldn't take that long. Okay, now we can finally get started. Okay, so now that that's complete, um, I'm gonna use a sanded ceramic tile caulk. Uh, this is, what the duck? Uh, so this is, I try to match the color as best as I could with what's already in there. Uh, this is pretty cool because it has like this, the silicone mixed with it and it still gives the look of grout. So I kind of like that. Uh, this is actually clear silicone. Okay, so this is really good. It's waterproof. This will go along the window that we're going to do. So again, you have your astroglide and then you have your matching caulk. Okay, so you have two of these, you have both of these products. You can't go wrong. Okay, so now we're going to take our astroglide and we're going to run it right on top here. Okay, so if you're using a caulking gun for the first time, I highly recommend getting the caulking guns with they have the little uh, penetrating needle, I guess you can call it. Um, these are really nice so you're not sticking a piece of wire down and then you gotta get creative. Uh, so what I do, I'll just, I'll just give this a nice little cut with the razor blade. Whatever you do, do not cut Christmas decorations off a staircase with this. I've seen and heard of terrible things happening, so be careful. So always go away. Don't come into your, your body, always go away. Keep your fingers clear. So just give it a little angle cut. So I cut mine at like a little 45. Now with this, with this grout, you gotta make a, the hole a little bigger so it'll spread a little faster and easier. So then you wanna puncture it. Okay. And then this piston just goes inside, just like that. Just keep pressing it. When you, stop, when you, when you wanna stop using it, you hit this back button and that relieves the pressure so that you won't have any more caulking leaking out. So like I told you guys in other videos, just make sure your hand is damp, your fingers. Uh, with, I mean, for me personally, I like to take my wet finger and just give it a little swipe. Who would have thought giving wet willies back in high school would still benefit you today? Teachers, you were wrong. Okay, then you can clean it up with your rag. Just take your finger, preferably your middle finger, and just run it down. Here 
the corners. So I found just a nice and smooth, nice and easy, not the gaps now. Okay guys, day two. I just got back from getting my COVID haircut from Great Clips, so I had to knock that out because you, can, you can't do presentations with a bad haircut, right? So the owner liked my job on the other master bath that we just did yesterday where we had to grout and recalk everything. Um, so I'm gonna show you the new bathroom that he added, okay? So we're also gonna take out the, the old caulking in here, right, because the caulking's bad. So we're gonna go ahead and recalk it, uh, same thing with this. This is a industrial gorilla rack for just your soap. So we're going to get rid of this and uh, caulk that as well. Okay. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, so again, like I said, if you guys do good work, you know, uh, they'll add work and that's kind of like how it goes sometimes. But, uh, all right. Okay. Let's get back to the master bathroom. I want to show you guys the finished product. And also, I have an important message at the very end of this video for you guys as well, okay? All right, follow me to the next bathroom, and I'm going to give you the finished tour. What's the matter with you? Here as well, we silicone around the perimeter of the shower. Everything looks great. So again, just give us about 24 hours to cure. We even silicone up, is up here as well, so it looks nice and fresh. So now our shower is sailor proof. Okay, and now that job is complete. If you liked the material I put out today, please smash that like button and subscribe. It's gonna help my channel tremendously. Um, I was just getting some feedback from some customers. I was wondering why business is so slow. And they said, well, you're teaching us how to do everything, so we don't need you anymore. So it kind of backfired a little bit. So yeah, so anyhow, I might be out of work here soon now. So subscribe. Help me out, I need a, another source of income. Okay, on a serious note guys, we had a coworker at the US Mint here in Denver. Um, I'm gonna use her name by the name of M. Uh, she was in a terrible, terrible motorcycle accident. She did make a really good recovery, uh, a few broken bones and some other things. Uh, so just put your thoughts and prayers out for that young lady. And hopefully M, we'll see you back at work soon. For those of you who subscribe to me at the US Mint. Uh, if you see her, you know, tell her Vinny said hi and give her my love. And we hope to see you back at work soon, okay? All right, guys, that's enough of this vlog. I'll see you on the next video. Again, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button for me. And that's another Vinny vlog that is complete.